Uh, I kind of completely missed what you told me to say. My name's Melanie and this is LA Year One. So I moved to LA in 2013. I drove out with my dad, did not drive out. Don't know what I... <laughs> nope, nope, completely lying to you. Okay, um, I moved to LA in 2013. I was getting settled. I was staying in a hotel in Marina Del Rey with my dad and he was helping me buy my first car and get settled into that apartment in Koreatown. I was emailing with this girl who my lighting professor put me in touch with who encouraged me to just move out here and just start working, which definitely wasn't daunting at all. Which was crazy too, before I left, I had a lot of people being like, kind of weirdly judgmental about just moving across the country and away from my family to a place where I didn't know anybody without a job. But like, I weirdly wasn't that worried. I remember sitting in the hotel room with my dad and emailing her and she was like, I have a feature coming up. We don't have the budget for a second AC, but if you wanna come out, my friend Peter is gonna be our first AC. He's amazing. He will teach you how to be a second AC. I didn't know anything about ACing, turns out. Teach you a lot about filmmaking and film school, except for actually what all the positions are and what the fuck they do. And can I curse? That just came out. Cause you know, you go to film school and you learn how to make a film, but no one actually teaches you like, oh, there's the gaffer and the head of the lighting department and then there's the first AC and the second AC and like what the difference is and what they do. Um, so yeah, I learned all that in about two weeks and they sort of took me under their wing. I kind of been working with them and friends with them ever since, but it's kind of weird to look back on my first year because even though I met them right away and I became friends with them right away, again, I didn't really know anyone out here. I remember doing that thing where you like post on Facebook and you're like, Hey, I was thinking of maybe catching a movie tonight. Does anyone want to go? And I like went to go see The Wolf of Wall Street with this like steady cam operator I worked with once. And like a couple people I went to film school with that I barely knew. And we went to the Cinerama Dome. And it was a good time. It was, I can't believe I like put myself out there like that. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I would do that now. Like, I would walk to the coffee shop and get a cup of coffee and read for hours. Cause coffee's cheap and I needed to get out of the house <laughs> and I didn't have any money yeah and dabbled in G&E there for a minute just because I don't know it paid and <laughs> I'd like met this key grip on a shoot I was like PAing on and I just got out of film school and he was like do you know how to set a C stand and I was like yeah you know I learned how to do that and so he was like come with me I'm gonna make you our genie swing for the day and then he called me like two weeks later and was like hey do you want to come genie swing for me again and he was on speakerphone. My friend was in the like passenger seat and I was like, yeah, okay. He was like, I'm so sorry. The rate's really low. It's only 250 for the day. And I'm like sitting there just being like, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I get it, yeah. No worries though, I'll be there. It's cool, it's cool, yeah. Um, 250's fine, not a problem. <laughs> I had made like $75 a day at most at that point if I was getting paid. So it's just funny to look back on those moments of being st like what you get excited about. My rent was also a lot lower, so there's that. I feel like the first like six months were kind of just the whole just diving into it. And it's kind of been a blur since then. Working in camera department has kind of been a dream. It's weird, you kind of just go with the grind for a little while and then you realize that like we have really cool jobs that are really hard and stressful and sometimes people act like we're saving lives and we're not. Sometimes it's wild to see where life's taken you in 10 years. I used to have movie posters hanging on my room that were autographed. Now I don't really know necessarily if they were authentic per se, but it's the things you get excited about when you're in high school. But yeah, just to look back on 17 year old me and now who just liked movies a lot and now here I am working on them. I think I learned a lot about admitting your mistakes. People sometimes treat this like we're saving lives and like, yeah, we're, we're not, we're making movies. Accept that human error is a thing. Obviously strive to do your best all the time for yourself though. And be proud of yourself and not be too hard on yourself. But 
it's okay to admit when you made a mistake because the only thing worse than making a mistake is pretending you didn't because people see through that shit. The other great piece of advice I got my first year here was just be cool. Be good at your job, but like people just want to work with their friends. People want to work with people that are fun to hang out with because working on movies and working on set is a lot of fun and it's more fun when you get to do it with your friends and make new friends and yeah. So that kind of carried through for a long time, especially because sometimes being social can be hard and it can be really taxing for more people than it seems to because being on set, you kind of have to be on all the time. You meet so many new people, you want to make a good impression and if you're in a bad mood, no one wants to be around you. Even if you're crushing that focus pull, but you're kind of cranky, that's kind of worse. Be a cool person, which is very daunting sometimes when you're constantly meeting new people. I think it's actually made me kind of good at reading people, which is interesting. Don't know if that's important. It's not. Anyway, so now I've been working in the film industry for, Jesus, it's going to be six years in September. It weirdly feels like it's been a lifetime, but also like has gone by insanely fast. Um, I think partially because there's no seasons here, which someone told me when I first moved here that like time would pass and you wouldn't even realize. And it's really true. It's January and then you blink and it's October. But yeah, so it's been about six years. I joined Local 600, the camera union, almost two years ago. So I've been plugging away and just working on bigger things and you know, I'm still excited for that moment to come when I can tell my family to go watch a TV show or go to a movie where I can say that's my name in the credits, because that's kind of cool. I've made some amazing friends, probably more than I have kind of in my entire life, which is some of the joys of freelancing. I meet new people all the time, and it's great. I don't have time for <laughs> working and hanging out with all of them, it's all a balance, but yeah, now I have my own place in Silver Lake and the cutest little pit bull in the world and since then my brothers moved out here and two of my best friends from high school, so I'm pretty lucky. Get to have new friends and old friends in a lovely city that I had never been to before until I moved here. That was perfect. Great. Thank you.